from youth-related matters because the National Youth Parliament recently convened a two-day sitting at the National Assembly Chambers in Banjul with the focus on the National Recovery Development Plan for the years 2023 to 2028 from a resolution to be adopted to their first ordinary session of the 90 Youth Parliament uh, Legislative Year. Now, the National Youth Parliament is a non-profit, non-partisan youth organization established to represent the voice of young people of the Gambia. It is also one of the country's most robust advocacy uh, networks that discuss youth matters, blossed awareness, and builds their capacity in key areas of governance and leadership advocacy. And let's have more details of that in this report by our reporter, Kerjeta Jalo. The young generation holds the key to shaping the society's future. When they bring back their fresh ideas and vibrant energy to the table, they become powerful agents of change. By actively engaging in resolving social issues, they do not only become capable leaders, but also create a positive impact on the lives of others. The vision of the National Youth Parliament is a Gambia with effective youth participation in leadership and national development. The consultations by members of the non-profitable youth organizations seek to empower and advocate for the welfare of young people in the Gambia, and also showcase their active participation of young Gambia in shaping the future of our nation. Meanwhile, a youth leader and deputy speaker of the National Youth Parliament, Negan Job, said they have passed resolutions on various issues, one of which is centered on youth focus plans of the years 2023 to 2028. Uh, yeah, we have passed the resolutions on various issues. One uh, which is of our most importance is to have a youth-centered focus on the national recovery development, national development plan 2023-2028. Um, we have seen the last development plan, um, actually people like me, of course I read the national development plan, but not actually know what were some of these indicators. And we'll, until it was time for review when I started to represent the young people, and we have seen how we have not actually achieved much when it comes to young people and their issues. And now uh, moving on, um, as young people want to be priority, want to be in the center, not only to wait until it's consultation or it's review time, no. We want to accompany, we want to be part of the implementation, but also to monitor the implementation to see at what rate or at what percentage of young people participated or benefit from the National Development Plan. We want to see ourselves as, as the 60 percent, not in numbers, in human faces participating in these National Development Programs. National youth sittings are projected to attract heated debates, tour discussions, and truly interactive engagements on youth matters by young advocates from different parts of the country and with diverse cultural backgrounds. However, Deputy Speaker Job added that the youths are determined to fight for solutions to their problems, and it's important for the authorities to lend a helping hand. Um, I think as young people, uh, of course we have a lot of young people who have given up, but some of us don't have a choice. We're going to be there, and we're going to make sure we continue lobbying, advocating, but also forcing authority to prioritize young people, to inculcate young people in these policies and programs. The National Youth Parliament has a membership of 53 constituency representatives, seven nominated women from various regions, and two nominated representatives of persons with disabilities. It is a platform that empowers young people to actively participate in the democratic process. It provides a space for them to voice their opinions, propose solutions, and contribute to shaping policies that directly impact their lives and the future of their country. Through sessions and settings, the Youth Parliament allows young individuals to gather, deliberate, and adopt resolutions on various issues of national importance. It serves as a stepping stone for young leaders to gain valuable experience, develop their skills, and make a positive impact on society. Kadija Tijala reporting for Africa News.